Welcome to the Highland Park Library Presents, Library in Your Living Room. I am Callie, a Youth Services Librarian, and today we're going to be making paper circuits. So you should have picked up your paper circuit kit from the library, and in it there should be a battery, pretty small, reminder that this is a choking hazard for children three and under, um, some sticky sided copper tape and at least one LED bulb. This is the bigger one. You might have littler ones. They work the same way. So those are the things that are in your kit. What you're also going to need to use is a, some sort of sheet of paper. You might want more than one. Really, it's up to you because the first part of this activity is to create a piece of art that you want to somehow light up. So I have an example right here. I did not create this piece of art, but it is a great example of something that you can light up. So I've already done this circuit in the back, um, and all you need to do is just press on either side of here, and it lights up, because there are paper circuits behind here. Really cool. All right, so my artwork today is going to be used, using chalk and black paper, kind of like a thicker cardstock. Um, so you can make whatever kind of art you want, but I think it's best to start off with an idea of where you want your LED lights to light up. So I'm going to do um, kind of a starry sky theme. Um, I guess it could be kind of like a wintry theme if you want it to be, I don't know. So I'm drawing on my paper. You can do whatever you want, as long as you map out where you want your lights to go. Pretty simple, I might jazz it up later. I would advise making your whole picture, making it done, ready to go, and then moving on to your circuits. Now to set up our circuit. So let's look at our LED light. So um, you can see on this LED light, it might be a little tricky, but there's one side that's longer than the other. This is the positive side. The shorter one is the negative side. These two legs on the LED bulb are called leads. So we're gonna wanna flatten this LED bulb so that it looks like this and then it can lay flat on the piece of paper like this. I'm gonna find out approximately where I need my bulbs to go and I'm gonna place them there on the paper. And then I'm going to figure out where I need my copper wire to go. So as I said, there's a negative and a positive side to the LED bulb. We want the negative side to be on the side of the copper wire where the negative side of the battery is. So it's really tricky to see on camera right now, but there's a positive side and a negative side. When you're looking at the battery up close, it'll be really clear which one is positive because there's a plus sign. So I'm gonna set up approximately where my battery is gonna go. I want the negative side to be facing down and I'm gonna place it on top of this part of the copper wire. And then on top of the positive side is gonna be another part of the wire that is gonna be hooked up to the positive side of the LED bulb. So once I tape all the circuits together, it'll look like this. All right, so we've already figured out the placement of everything, it's time to start taking the backing off the copper tape, which is actually kind of tricky. You need to play around with it. <laughs> Get your nails in there, I guess. Um, it's the hardest part of the whole project. All right, so I got some backing off. This is the part of the copper wire that goes onto the positive side of the battery and then down on the paper. I don't need it to go on top of the leads of the LED bulb because it's just gonna lay flat on top of it and I can use tape later to get that to stick a little bit more. All right, then I'm gonna do 
this side and this part of the copper tape or the conduit because this is how the electricity is going to flow from the battery to the bulb. Um, this side of the copper tape is going to go underneath the battery so that it's touching the negative side. It's all about positive and negative. Okay, so when it lies flat, it'll be right up against this side of the battery. Perfect. And then our third piece, I'm just using three pieces. You might want to use more if you're kind of having a longer uh, circuit, but you can always just lay them flat on top of each other to make them hook up. Okay, so I'm gonna have this, I don't want it to be too wide, so I wanna make sure that the LED bulb can fit there. All right, and then I'm gonna lay this flat like that. And then I think I'm gonna need to fold this over so the electricity isn't just flowing out that other end so it knows where to flow. Okay, so at this point I should take my LED bulb and I believe this side is gonna go on here and this side's gonna go here. Yep, the left side over here you see is shorter, this is negative. This side is longer, it's positive, and you can see it lights up. I can take my other bulb, which I flattened before, so I'm not sure if this one's gonna light up the same way, but they should both light up. So I can figure out my spacing of this, and then I'm gonna put my other art project on top of this with two holes cut out, and I'll have my two light up pieces of my artwork. So you might say that's only working when I hold down on it, that's true. So one of two things can work for this. You can either use tape to really get that to sit flat. You can use the copper tape to make it sit flat. Or sometimes I think this is actually nice for the project because it doesn't light up unless you press it. And that can be whatever your artistic license is telling you. Another thing you might want to look at doing is creating a stopper for the battery. So it's kind of like a switch. So if you want, you can have a piece of paper that goes in between the copper wire and the battery. And then this will stop the electric electricity from flowing because we know that paper does not conduct electricity. So as you can see, now the battery is not working. But if I take out that stopper, it's like turning on a switch. So play around with it, see what works for you, see what works for your project. I just think it's really a cool and simple way of illustrating electricity and being able to light up a piece of artwork.